Hey guys, Luke here, Tranquility Based Detailing. Welcome to another review. This one's going to take a look at Triple Nine's Quick Detailer. For those that don't know Triple Nine, a uh, small firm, Ian and Philip, they're based in Northern Ireland. Uh, they're making an ever growing, ever expanding range of really nice uh, detailing products. I've had the joy of using two of theirs at this point, their Snow Foam and their Quick Detailer, and so far I've been impressed. Um, so if you do want to look into them, um, know that you're supporting a smaller firm, which I'm always a big advocate of, and I, I try and make a point of that on this channel. Um, but you're supporting a couple of guys who are passionate about what they do, and they make really, really nice products. I've just stuck at the front end of this with any finishing product, quick detail and no exception. Obviously, it comes right at the end. It comes at the end of a wash process. With that in mind, snuck in their snow foam just at the start. I'll put the link on screen uh, for the full review of that. So if you've not seen that already, I'll not recover that one at this point. And likewise, a full review here for this shampoo, the Bright Max one as well. Um, but you're here for the quick detailer. So let me tell you about that. It retails at eight pound. That's for 500 mil. It's got a cracking mango scent to it. I really, really like the scent on this one. Um, in the bottle, you know, it's fair. Once you spray it, it kind of comes alive. So it's a, a really nice, pleasant one to use. First thing, and, and you know, the thing that stuck in my head with this one, those that have used a lot of quick detailers will know what I mean by this. It's got a really nice trigger action on it. It gives a very fine mist. Um, you do see a lot with uh, these quick detailers. Some of them can get it wrong just in that initial step of application, and that makes your job harder in terms of, you know, removing excess product. And this doesn't do that, so it gave a, a really nice fine mist. Probably over applied on this panel a little bit. It gave it sort of a maybe a spritz too many. Um, but it was just really nice to, to spray and, and lay down. As you use it, the first thing you notice under the cloth as you're wiping is it brings a slickness to the paint. There's no grabbiness that you get with some quick detailers. Um, this, you can feel as it sort of just flashes off under the, uh, the cloth, that slickness coming to the paint. And I'm talking that sort of freshly clayed, really immaculate paint type slickness. And it shows across in the beading. It beads really, really well for a quick detailer. Sheets fantastically well also. I'm going to show you some beading at the end. And this is natural beading. I did get caught in the rain after this. The gloss it brings to the paint is there. It is evident. And it's a really nice gloss. I would describe it as glassy. Um, you know, if you do have lighter colour cars like me, it's going to suit those really well. But I've seen pictures on their Instagram on darker colours. And it, it suits those just the same. Durability wise, um, I typically like most will use a quick detailer as I can maintenance that top up. My car's had it on for eight days at this point and the water's still beading really well and rolling up the bonnet just, you know, once you get sort of 50, 40, 50 miles an hour. Um, so durability is there as well. All in all, it ticks enough boxes for me to be comfortable in saying, yes, I could recommend it. If you want a new quick detailer or you want to try it, I'll put the links below buy it you won't be disappointed it's nice uh, as a product to have in your collection but also because you're supporting these smaller firms but that's all i can tell you about it if you've got any comments ask them below uh, and as always check back in the future for future videos thanks for watching bye bye